never started. Audio test one, audio test one. Balco Bison, Wesley and Christian Mustangs. Bang! Audio test two, audio test two. Balco Bison, Wesley and Christian Mustangs. Corner three, bang!
the pride of the High Plains, the Balco Bison are on the air. Balco Bison basketball is being brought to you live on the Balco Bison Sports Network. Welcome to the Stride Bank Center here in Enid for today's area elimination semifinal OSSAA Class B gentlemen's playoff matchup between the 12th ranked Wesley and Christian Mustangs and the 14th ranked Balco Bison. We'll take a brief time out and when we return we'll have the pregame show for today's matchup. The keys to victory and the starting lineups live from Enid, Oklahoma. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment. Welcome back to the Stride Bank Center here in Enid, Oklahoma for this afternoon's matchup between the 12th ranked Mustangs of Wesley and Christian and the 14th ranked Bison of Balco. I'm David Vaughn and first we'll start with the Wesley and Christian Mustangs. The Mustangs finished last season 17 and 7 and were eliminated in the third round of the 2023 playoffs by New Lima. They have not lost a beat since last season and have compiled an impressive 23 and 4 record this season under head coach Stephen Cooks. Wesley and Christian advanced to today's game by defeating Scheidler 68 to 14, then Welch 55 to 21 in the district round. Then in the regional round, they defeated Timberlake 64 to 53 before falling to number four Frontier 60 to 47, putting them in the elimination bracket. Then they advanced to today's showdown with Balco after a 57-52 victory over number 14 Lomega, and correction over number 15 Lomega in their area elimination matchup. They have a good mix of height and speed, and they can tax teams conditioning which they've done effectively all season long 
Defensively, Wesley and, Christian, Wesley and Christian have been terrific this season, allowing just 37.2 points per game over the course of the season. They've allowed over 60 points just three times this season while holding the opposition to under 30 points on 10 separate occasions, including under 20 points six times. Offensively, the Mustangs are cruising, averaging 62.7 points per game. This team wants to get up and down the floor and they're capable of scoring in bunches. They've eclipsed the 60 point mark in 63% of their games this season with their high point total being an 87 point effort against Copan on December 12th. Their game is defense to offense, just like Balco. This promises to be an up and down game, just like both teams would like to see it. Balco ended up in today's elimination semifinal with a thrilling 50 to 47 victory over Timberlake last night. Balco commit to this evening's game 20 and five on the season and are nine and one in their last tens, 10 games and a staggering 17 and four in their last 21. Balco have struggled to find their shot as of late, but their defense has come up huge in those instances. The Bison come in averaging 56.9 points per game offensively this season, and it's because of a balanced offensive attack. The Bison have not shot well from the perimeter in their last few games, however, and they will definitely need those to fall in today's game. They absolutely have the shooters to make it happen, though. Balco will need to get off to a hot start and then keep their foot on the gas against this Wesley and Christian squad that have proven that they are capable of coming from behind against quality opposition. Defensively, the Bison have been solid all season, allowing just 43.2 points per game. Baco will want to put their stamp on this game early with their signature defense. Their pick and roll game has been executed very, very well. And yesterday, Balco dominated in second chance points against Timberlake. They'll need to do the same again today. The Bison have a date with Destiny tomorrow, but they need to take care of business today first. This is the first ever meeting between these two schools, which are separated by 300 miles. The stakes are high, and it's now winner go home for these teams as they face off in this area elimination semifinal. The winner will play tomorrow at 7.30 against the loser between number four Frontier and number five Leedy, while the loser will see their season come to an end this afternoon. Wesley and Christian are three and four on the season against ranked opposition, while Balco are three and three. But it's time to put all the conjecture and discussion to bed because it's time. It's Wesley and Christian, it's Balco, and it's live right here on the Balco Bison Sports Network. We'll be right back with the starting lineup and tip-off of the area elimination semifinal of the 2024 OSSAA Class B Gentlemen's Basketball Playoffs live from the Stride Bank Center here in Enid, Oklahoma. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment.
Welcome back to the Stride Bank Center. It's now time for the starting lineups. First of the number 12 ranked Wesley and Christian Mustangs, who are 23 and 4 on the season under coach Stephen Cooks. Number two, Trey White. Number three, Kale Seamers. Number 10, Kyle Kelly. Number 12, Cooper Holly. And number 22, Ty Cloud. And now for the 14th ranked Balco Bison, who are 20 and 5 on the season under second year head coach Jaden Whitfield and first year assistant coach Chandler Deerman. A 6'1 senior, number 11, Peyton Parker. 6'3", senior, number 23, Nathan Cardwell. 6'3", junior, number 24, Mason Taylor. 6'4", junior, number 33, Levi Milliken. And a 5'9", freshman, number 55, Kane Cowan. We do have a couple of uh, uh, messages on the um, live chat already. Cody Freeman says, good luck, Bison, play hard. Ginger Robinson, good luck, Bison. S Street, go Bison. We do want to thank everybody for listening to this broadcast of Balco Bison Basketball. I do want to thank everyone for joining us this afternoon. My name is David Vaughn. I will be your host for the day. A very pleasant good afternoon to you all, wherever you may be. You'll notice on the bottom of the feed for this YouTube, there is a live chat. Uh, leave us a message. Uh, we love shouting people out. It doesn't matter if you're a Balco fan, a Wesleyan Christian fan. Uh, we will we will uh, we'll shout you out on the air. I love doing stuff like that. It's great. Uh, teams are are they're finishing up the in arena starting lineups right now. A uh, Wesleyan Christian will be in their home white uniforms with uh, purple lettering and trim, and they'll be going from right to left across your screen. Baco in their home maroon uniforms with white lettering and trim, they'll go from left to right across your screen. Uh, Nathan Cardwell's been doing the jumping all season for Balco. I would imagine that to remain the same today. Uh, we have two teams that really couldn't be one any further apart or two any further from the Stride Bank Center as both of these teams had to travel almost three hours to get here. So you've got uh, Nathan Cardwell to jump for Balco, Ty Cloud to jump for Wesley and Christian. Official giving final instructions to the teams. Circling around. Ball's in the air and we're underway. The tip is controlled by Wesley and Christian. Trey White will bring it into the front court. Pass going to the far side. Wide open. Three-pointer misses everything. Rebound Peyton Parker. Giving off now to Kane Cowan. Cowan races quickly into the front court. Losing his footing on the far side. Giving it up now to Cardwell. Cardwell drives in. Picks it up in the, in the circle. Now over to Cowan again. Cowan crossover dribble. Driving in on White. Passing over to the far side. Mason Taylor with it. Utilizing the Millican screen. Has the ball over to uh, Cardwell. Near side. Free throw line extended. Hesitation dribble. Now picks it up in the key. Over to Cowan. Cowan thought about the long jump and decided not to. Utilizes the Millican screen again over to the near side. Mason Taylor driving in, has it at the elbow. Hesitation dribble, picks it up. Over to the near side to Cowan again. Driving in, all kinds of passing. Three-pointer Cardwell off the back iron. No rebound, Ty Cloud. And we're not even a minute gone. And my goodness, <laughs> I've already gotten a lot of words in. On the far side, Cooper Holly with it. Picks up his dribble, bounce pass to the elbow now. Ty Cloud. Right, right side, over to the near side, long jumper, no, rebound deflected out of bounds off of, um, off of uh, Xander Week, who uh, is in the starting lineup for Wesleyan Christian. So Balco basketball, one minute gone here in the first quarter, still scoreless. It's going to be imperative to see which Balco squad shows up here in the first quarter. Balco have had difficulty getting their shot off. Taylor loses control, picks up his dribble, turnaround jumper is good. Mason Taylor with the first points of the game, and it's 2 nothing favor Balco. We do have some more uh, uh, chats that we'll shout out at the next dead ball. Trey White passing over to the near side, now Cooper Holly. Now top of the key over to Kale Seamers. Passing over now to Cloud. Cloud has a free throw line extended far side, drives in on Taylor, giving it off to White. White spin move up and under. Shot is in and out, no good. Offensive rebound, Ty Cloud. Put back is good for Ty Cloud. First points of the game for Wesley and Christian. We're knotted up at two. Two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Reminder that the winner of today's game will face, will face off against the loser between Frontier and Leedy tomorrow at 7.30. Spin move in the paint. Mason Taylor off the glass, no. Rebound by Trey White. Coming the other way now are the Mustangs. Across the timeline toward the near side. Hesitation dribble picked up there by Cardwell. Giving it off now. Crossover dribble. Has it at the left elbow. Pass deflected. Knocked away and stolen by Peyton Parker. Numbers back defensively. It's poked away from behind. It will be Balco basketball inbounding at the end of the Wesleyan Christian bench. 5.36 to go here in the second quarter. Inbound goes to Mason Taylor between the circles. Pass over to Peyton Parker. Parker now top of the key to Milliken. 
Milliken surveys the defense, gives it now to Cowan. Cowan over to Cardwell, thought about the 28-footer, decided not to. We've seen him shoot from there all season long. He can do it. Cardwell with it now. Nice defense there by Kale Seamers. Over now to the far side. Mason Taylor's spin move in front of the Wesleyan Christian bench has the ball now over to Cowan. Bump, no call. Balco to reset again. Driving in as Cowan into the lane. Finds Mason Taylor cutting. The shot is blocked and stolen by Ty Cloud. Fast break opportunity now for Wesleyan Christian. Layup is off the glass. No. Foul's going to be on Kane Cowan, his first personal foul, first team foul. And it's going to send Wesleyan Christian to the line to shoot to Ty Cloud. So Cloud takes two dribbles, first free throw is up and good. Cloud with his first point of the game. No correction, no, his third point of the game. Converts the first free throw. Taking two more dribbles, second free throw is up. Off the back and in, so he converts both. He has four, and it's 4-2. Favor Wesleyan Christian, 4.51 to go here in the first quarter. Mason Taylor with the near side, driving baseline. Passes out of the double team over to Cowan on the far side. A lot of contact, shot blocked, no call. Cowan looking for the call, doesn't get it, and he's frustrated. Over to the far side now, Trey White with it on the far side. Driving in, has the ball right heel, picks up his dribble, now top of the key to Ty Cloud. Cloud driving in on Taylor. Ball's poked away by Milliken, recovered by Cloud. Over to the far side, Kale Seamers has it. Seamers with the protective mask on. Um, as you see sometimes with people that have facial injuries, shot around the rim and good for Xander Week, his first points of the game, and it's 6-2 favor Balco. And this is what we talked about in the free games where the halfway mark now of the first quarter. If Balco doesn't find their shot immediately, they're in danger of getting run out of the gym early. Because they're and they're just not hitting right now in the early going of this one. Taylor circling back around, ball's knocked away, picks it back up, looking to get rid of it, does so now to Cardwell. Cardwell cross court pass to Cowan, Balco to reset, back to Taylor now top of the key. Driving in, pass back now to Cardwell, Cardwell for three, off the back iron, no, rebound loose, picked up by Wesleyan Christian, they want to run, into the front court, Cooper Holly with it, numbers back defensively, and they'll wait to reset the offense. Trey White with it now near the sideline on the near side. Picking up his dribble now, handing it off top of the key to Seamers. Seamers drives in, dishes off now to Cloud. Cloud floater is good. That's six for Ty Cloud. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it with him. 3.18 to go here in the first quarter. Wesley and Christian, eight, Balco, two. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment. Welcome back to the Stride Bank Center here in Enid. We have a number of, of messages. Uh, a Ball says, good luck, Mighty Bison. Krista Bennett, good luck, Balco Bison. Lila, go Balco Bison. Donna Hill, do what you best. We believe in you. Shariah Dean, you got this. Go Bison. YouTube marketer. Uh, listening from uh, Waco, Texas. Uh, Nathan Cardwell's dad. Uh, Jerry Fuller, play hard, Balco. You're always winners. Uh, Jamie Edwards, go Mustangs. Thank you so much for listening to this broadcast of, of Balco Bison basketball. Taylor has it, giving it off now to, to Cowan. Give and go, shot is up off the glass of good for Peyton Parker. And that's what Balco's got to do. That's been their bread and butter all season long is that pick and roll game that has been so effective for them. Crossover dribble into the front court. Trey White with it, now giving it off. Over to Ty Cloud. Cloud over to Seamers. Seamers contested three-pointer is good. Good defense, better offense. Seamers with his first points of the game. And it's 11 to four, seven point lead for Wesleyan Christian, their largest of the game. Cowan with it on the near side, utilizing the Parker screen. Pass over to Taylor, far side, thought about it, decided not to. Ball is blocked directly out of his hand, coming the other way. Wesleyan Christian wants to run. Seamers layup is off the glass, no. Rebound, Kane Cowan. Balco coming back the other way. Wesleyan a little slow getting back. Cross court pass to Cardwell over to Taylor. Mason Taylor, long three, misses everything. Badly missed there on that one. Ty Cloud with the rebound into the front court. Cross court pass to the far side. White driving baseline. The jumper over Cowan off the front iron. No, ball kicked around a little bit. Goes back now top of the key. Wesleyan Christian to reset. Three-pointer for Kale Seamers is good. He has six. And 
This is on the verge of getting out of hand in a hurry. 14 to four, Wesley and Christian, 155 to go here in the first quarter. Taylor giving it off to Cardwell on the far side, circling around on the perimeter. Over to Kane Cowan. Cowan, NBA link three-pointer. Bang! Three-point basket good, Kane Cowan. His first points of the game, 14 to seven, your score, a minute 38 to go here in the first quarter. Into the front court, Trey White with it. For Wesley and Christian over to the far side. Now Seamers has it in front of the Balco bench. Coming all the way out near the midcourt stripe. Now at the Stride Bank Center logo. Crossover dribble drives in on Cowan. Picks it up now. Over to the near side. Ty Cloud thought about the jumper. Decided not to. Drives in now to the left elbow. Over to the right elbow now is Xander Week. Over to Cooper Holly. Now top of the key. Seamers with it. And... Appears to be an injury timeout as uh, Xander Week limps toward the bench, and that's not a good sign. You don't you don't ever want to see injuries at all. Certainly hope the young man is okay and that he'll be able to return into this one. But he's holding that knee rather harshly, and he's he's in a lot of pain. You can see it in the sideline. Trey White with it now, giving it off top of the key over to the near side. Now Cooper Holly with it down to the block. Cloud has it. Turn around jumper is up and good. Eight points for Ty Cloud. Balco simply doesn't have an answer for him. 16 to seven, 53 seconds to go here in the quarter. Mason Taylor with it, driving in, passing out of the double team. Over to Cardwell, Cardwell to Parker. Peyton Parker picks up his dribble, push pass over now to Cardwell. Pass is knocked away and stolen. Seamers ahead of everyone, the layup is off the glass and good. Eight points for Kale Seamers. 18 to seven, 33 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Mason Taylor floater, no, rebound. Kyle Kelly, Abalco's not taking their time on their shots, they're forcing things, and they're in, they're in a lot of trouble right now, because you fall down to this team by double figures, you're probably not going to get out of it. Kyle Kelly with it, driving in on Cowan, picks up his dribble over to Cooper Holly, now top of the key, three-pointer. Around the rim and good. 11 points for Kale Seamers, and it's 21 to seven. Three seconds to go here in the quarter, Mason Taylor has it. Over to Milliken, Balco doesn't get a shot off, and that's the end of the first quarter. With your score, Wesley and Christian 21, Balco 7. We'll take a quick timeout. We come back, we'll have the first quarter recap and the start of the second quarter live from Bison Gymnasium here in, a correction, live from the Stride Bank Center here in Eden, Oklahoma. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment. Welcome back to the Stride Bank Center. And Ian, it has been all Wesley and Christian so far, 21 to seven. Kale Seamers with 11 points, eight for Ty Cloud and two for Xander Week. Balco, three points for Kane Cowan, two apiece for Mason Taylor and Peyton Parker, and that's it. Mason Taylor with the top of the key, give and go to Peyton Parker. Layup is off the glass and good. Peyton Parker with the layup, he has four and it's 21 to nine. 7.45 to go here in the first half. Into the front court, Seamers with it. Cross court pass to White on the near side, driving in on Cardwell, picks up his dribble. Shot is off the back iron, no good. Rebound loose, picked up by Mason Taylor, ripped away. Cloud put back, no. Offensive rebound again, put back again, no. Another offensive rebound. Now top of the key over to the near side. Wide open, three-pointer Holly off the front iron, around the rim and good. Cooper Holly with his first points of the game, and it's 24 to nine, favor Wesley and Christian. Abaco with no answers on either end of the floor at the moment. Still plenty of time, but Balco's got to find some answers now. Cowan over to Cardwell on the near side, has the ball in the key, over to Mason Taylor on the far side, back over now to Kane Cowan. Cowan, hesitation dribble, picked up by Seamers, reversal to Taylor. Taylor utilizing the Peyton Parker screen, give and go to Parker, and the paint up and under move shot is good, and no good, but he's fouled. So Peyton Parker will go to the line to shoot two. Foul's going to be, I believe, on Trey White. Uh... And for White, that'll be his first personal foul, first team foul. 
So Parker at the line, first free throws on the way, and good. So one more free throw fourth coming for the 6-1 senior from Balco. 24-10 the score favor Wesley and Christian. Second free throw is up. Off the front iron and in. So he converts both. He has six. And it's a 13-point lead again for Wesley and Christian at 24 to 11. 647 to go here in the first half. Top of the key, Cooper Holly with it. Loses control, picked up and stolen by Cowan. Numbers back defensively. Mason Taylor finds Peyton Parker. And he's stripped from behind and fouled. So foul's going to be on Kyle Kelly, his first personal foul. Peyton Parker's going to go back to the line to shoot two more. Look, look to be a pretty clean strip from here. So Parker now with two more free throws. First one is on the way, and good. So one more free throw forthcoming for Peyton Parker. His shot is up. Around the rim, no. Offensive rebound, Levi Milliken. Put back his block, and they're going to call an offensive foul on Levi Milliken. They're going to say Milliken cleared out probably with the shoulder. Uh, I was screened out from here, so I didn't see it. Uh, but uh, I believe they're calling a clear out on Milliken, so it'll be his first personal foul. First team foul, Wesley and Christian basketball, 12-point lead and the ball, 90 seconds gone here in the second quarter. Top of the key, Seamers, three-pointer over Taylor. Off the glass, no. Rebound, Nathan Cardwell. Come back the other way now, are the Bison. Numbers back defensively for Wesley and Christian. They're calling an over and back violation. The pass was, the player was not past the midcourt stripe when he made the pass. <laughs> you can't have a backcourt violation when there's no front court. <laughs> but they called it, so it is. Over to the far side, uh, Kale Seamers with it. Picked up there by Taylor, cross court pass to the near side, Kelly. Driving in, uh, push, no call, layup is off the glass and good. Basket good for uh, Kyle Kelly, his first points of the game. And it's, again, the largest lead of the game now for Wesley Christian, 26 to 12. Two minutes gone here in the second quarter. Cowan has it on the near side, driving in. Over now, Mason Taylor driving baseline. He's stopped there, top of the key. Cowan with it, circling around. Over now, Peyton Parker. Parker, baseline drive, passes out of a double team over to Cardwell for three. Off the front iron, no. Trey White with the rebound. Wesley Christian wanting to run. And a traveling violation. So that'll be a turnover. And Balco basketball to inbound from the baseline. 5.34 to go here in the half. Balco looking a little more lively here in the second quarter. But they've got to they've get up and going. Coach Whitfield imploring his team to run. Mason Taylor between the circles now over to Cowan. Cowan down to the key, Parker with it over to Cardwell, near side. Making the pass, picks it up top of the key, now back to Cowan near the stride, Bank Center logo. 5.15 to go here in the half, 26 to 12 is the score, favor Wesley and Christian. Weave pattern, Cowan with it, now driving in baseline, double team comes and he traveled with it, so a turnover and Wesley and Christian basketball. Trey White with it, free throw line extended, spin move in the paint now, jumper over, Nathan Cardwell is good. White with his first points of the game, he has two, and it's a 16-point lead now for Wesley Christian at 28 to 12. Mason Taylor picking up his dribble over to Cowan. Good defense for Wesley Christian, just kind of threw out. Fadeaway jumper for Cardwell is good. Nathan Cardwell with his first points of the game, and it's 28-14. Balcourt doubled up with 427 to go here in the first half. Over now to the near side, Kyle Kelly with it, down on the block, Cloud with it, now top of the key, uncontested three, no, rebound picked up by Kane Cowan. Good block out there for Balco. Balco wants to run, numbers back defensively for the Mustangs. Cross court pass is deflected, knocked out of bounds by Trey White. So Balco basketball to inbound at the end of the scores table on the far side, 4.08 to go here in the first half, game that's been all Wesley and Christian so far. Cowan will bring it into the front court, wrap around dribble, has the ball, loses control, picks it back up, guarded very closely by Seamers. Driving in now, the floater for Cowan's off the back iron, no, rebound, Cooper Holly Coming the other way now, Wesley and Christian, they want to run. Numbers back defensively, but they're not set. Elbow jumper, 
off the front rim, no. Rebound, Kane Cowan, 3.45 to go now here in the half. 28-14, the score favor Wesleyan Christian. Taylor over to Cardwell, far side, driving baseline, now picks up his dribble, 14-foot jumper, no. Rebound loose, picked up by Kyle Kelly. Wesleyan Christian coming back the other way, and they're slowing it down now just a little bit. Three and a half to go here in the first half. Peyton Parker with the steal. Driving in, the layup is off the glass, hard, no good. He had a wide open layup and he missed it. Into the front court, Kale Seamers with it. And that's not, a, that's not a mistake you see Peyton Parker make very often. Utilizing the cloud screen, driving in over to the far side. Kelly with it, drives in, free throw line jumper is good. Kyle Kelly with four, and it's 30 to 14. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it with them. 3.03 to go here in the first half. Wesley and Christian 30, Valco 14. Valco Bison basketball will continue in a moment. Welcome back to the Stride Bank Center here in Enid. 30 to 14 the score. It has been all Wesley and Christian up to this point. Uh, the Mustangs are back now on the floor. It will be Balco basketball. Light press being employed by Wesley and Christian. Um, Mason Taylor with it. Now to Cowan, top of the key over to Taylor again. Free throw line extended. Bounce pass is deflected and stolen. Coming the other way now, Wesley and Christian. Into the front court, Seamers. Layup is around the rim and good. That's 13 for Kale Seamers, and it's 32 to 14. Seamers is outscoring Balco almost by himself. Balco has 14, he has 13. Top of the key now, Cowan with it. 2.30 to go here in the half. Over to the near side. Mason Taylor picking up his dribble at the baseline, top of the key. Kane Cowan thought about the jumper, decided not to. Mason Taylor, wing three, off the back iron, no. Rebound off the hands of Milliken, picked up by Wesley and Christian. They want to run. Driving baseline, White has it, and they're going to call a blocking foul on Peyton Parker, and he acknowledges, yes, I did. So first foul on Peyton Parker. It's just the second team foul of the quarter, 32-14 to 14 the score. Mason Jensen checking into the game for Wesley and Christian as Cooper Holly will have a seat. Mustangs to inbound from the baseline with 2.13 to go here in the first half. Inbound to the top of the key, goes to White. Over now to the near side, Seamers holding it high above his head, still has his dribble long cross court pass to Jensen. Top of the key, Parker goes for the steal, does not get it back over to Jensen. Stopping at the right elbow, back to Seamers, three pointer is good. 16 points for Kale Seamers. And it's a 21 point lead for Wesleyan Christian at 35 to 14. Mason Taylor with that free throw line extended, hesitation dribble, now giving it off to Cowan. Cowan long three pointer, bang! Three point basket good, Kane Cowan, he has six. And Baco needs about 10 more of those. 35 17, Wesleyan Christian, a minute 35 to go here in the half. Jensen floater, no, rebound Peyton Parker. Full court press now employed for Wesleyan Christian. Taylor with it. He'll bring it across the midcourt stripe, across the stride bank center logo. Kane Cowan, long three, bang, back to back threes. Kane Cowan, he has nine. 35-20 the score now, a minute 12 to go here in the half. In the front court, Trey White with it. Picking up his dribble now to Seamers, top of the key, 103 to go here in the quarter. 15 point lead for Wesleyan Christian at 35 to 20. Now to Kale Seamers again. Standing near the Stride Bank Center logo, crossover dribble, driving in on Taylor, giving it off to Jensen. Jensen picked up there by Cowan. Taylor goes for the steal, does not get it. Kane Cowan goes for the steal and gets the body. So that'll be a foul on Kane Cowan, but it's on the floor. It will be Wesleyan Christian basketball to inbound from the baseline. 52.1 seconds left in the first half, a 15-point lead for the Mustangs and the basketball. Ty Cloud will have a seat. And... Uh, Jarrett Jensen is in the game now for Wesleyan Christian. 
Mason Jensen with a crossover dribble. Ball gets knocked away. Pass over now to the near side. Trey White, 42 seconds to go here in the quarter. Driving in across the paint, picks it up at the elbow when he walked with it. So that'll be a turnover. And Balco basketball with 38.8 seconds to go here in the half. 35 to 20 is the score. So a half that Balco would just as soon forget. Cowan looking to inbound, can't find anyone. Does get it to Taylor in the coffin corner on the near side. And they've got to go. He can't take his time like this. He's got to get it across the timeline. And finally does so. 28 seconds to go here in the half. And Balco may be content to hold for the final shot. As Taylor calls for a clear out on the far side. 17 seconds to go here in the quarter. A game that has been all Wesley and Christian so far. Over to the far side. Peyton Parker. Tall pass to Cardwell. Three pointer. No, they're going to say he stepped out of bounds anyway. That would have been one of those Sean Elliott Memorial Day miracle kind of shots. His heels were out of bounds, but he stepped down. So it'll be a turnover. Wesley and Christian, and they'll now get the final shot with under seven seconds to play here in the half. Into the front court, Trey White with it. Over to the far side, wing three-pointer. No, rebound deflected out of bounds. And that's going to be the end of the first half with the score. Wesley and Christian 35, Balco 20. We'll take a quick timeout. We will come back. We'll have the first half recap, the second half keys to victory, and the start of the third quarter live from the Stride Bank Center here in Enid, Oklahoma. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment.
Well, welcome back to the Stride Bank Center here in Eden, Oklahoma, where the Wesleyan Christian Mustangs are all over the Balco Bison, 35 to 20 at halftime. Wesleyan Christian are being paced by Kale Seamers with 16 points, eight for Ty Cloud, four for Kyle Kelly, uh, three for Cooper Holly, and two apiece for Xander Week and Trey White. For Balco, Kane Cowan with nine, seven for Peyton Parker, and two apiece for Nathan Cardwell and Mason Taylor. Going back to just kind of take a look at the um, the live feed, uh, the a um, <laughs> little bit of discussion on how frequently I say the score, and then uh, uh, Darren Cowan, come on, mighty mighty Bison. Uh, the Bison are going to need a pretty big run here in the second half. But something the Balco need to remember is there's no such thing, and I say you hear me say this almost every broadcast. There's no such thing as a 16 point basket. Okay. What you do is you win each two minute section. If you can win the two minute section by two points, and then the next two minute section by two points, well, there's eight of those two minute sections left. Well, you look at that, it's a 15 point game. If Balco wins each of the next two minute segments by two points, they win this game by one. But Balco's got to, they, they've got to be able to get their pick and roll game going. And when it is going, it has been effective, even in this game. Uh, Wesleyan Christian has a lot of height that Balco simply just have not been able to contend with. Uh, but as they go into the second half, Coach Whitfield, you saw when they walked into the into halftime, Coach Whitfield looked resolute. It's almost as if he had seen something there toward the end of the half that made him realize, okay, this is going to be a key for us. But right now they've got to slow Kale Seamers down. <laughs> and that's that's kind of the big one. And then Ty Cloud, they simply don't have any answer for Ty Cloud either on the high uh, on the height front. But it is a 15 point lead for Wesleyan Christian at half, 35 to 20. We're just under five minutes away from the start of the second half. It will be Wesleyan Christian basketball to start the third quarter. We'll take a quick timeout. When we come back. We'll have the start of the third quarter live from the Stride Bank Center here in Enid, Oklahoma. Balco Bison basketball will continue.
Welcome back to the Stride Bank Center here in Enid. Wesley Christian 35, Balco 20, as we are heading into the start of the third quarter. Uh, the Bison players are gathering around Coach Whitfield, getting some instructions. Wesley and Christian very loose and relaxed in their uh, uh, halftime shoot around as they're getting ready to take the court for the start of the third quarter. It will be Wesley and Christian basketball to start the second half. The Mustangs in their home white uniforms with purple lettering and trim. They'll be going from left to right across your screen. Balco in their road maroon uniforms with white lettering and trim. And they'll be going from right to left across your screen. Winner of today's game will face off against the loser between Frontier and Leedy tomorrow at 7.30 right here in the Stride Bank Center in the Area Elimination Championship match. The loser of today's game will see their season come to an end tonight. Both teams are back on the floor now, and it will be Mustang basketball. Cooper Holly to inbound on the near sideline at the midcourt stripe. He gets the ball from the official. We're underway here in the third quarter. Trey White will walk it diagonally across the timeline toward the far side. Now free throw line extended to Kyle Kelly. Ball's knocked away and stolen by Peyton Parker. Parker goes up for the layup. It's off the glass and good. Nine points for Peyton Parker. And this is what Balco needs. <laughs> Balco needs a whole lot of that in the second half. Over to the near side, free throw line extended. Seamers with it, holding the ball high above his head. Still has his dribble, gives it off to Holly. Holly loses control, picked up. Over now to the far side. Trey White with it, drive baseline. Picks up his dribble, the shot is blocked from behind and a foul. So that's going to be on Nathan Cardwell, I believe. And that was on the shot, so that will put Trey White at the line to shoot two for the Mustangs. 7.27 to go here in the third quarter. 35-22 the score. White's first free throw is on the way. And good. So that's three points for Trey White. One more free throw forthcoming for him. Takes three dribbles, spins it in his hand. Second free throw is on the way. Off the front iron and softly in. So he has four. And it's 37-22, a half minute gone here in the second half. Cowan with it, crossover dribble on the near side, calls for a screen, doesn't get it. Pass over to Cardwell, he loses control of it, picks it back up off his foot, balls loose and stolen, picked up by Wesley and Christian coming the other way now. Ty Cloud in the front court, bodies going all over the place. Over now to the near side, Cloud driving in on Milliken, spin move, shot from the elbow around the rim, no. Rebound deflected and picked up by Levi Milliken. Now over to Mason Taylor. Taylor wanting to run. Numbers back defensively for Wesley and Christian. Wrap around dribble for Taylor. At the foul line, picks it up. Now over to Cowan between the circles. 6.47 to go here in the quarter. 37-22 is your score. Favor to the Mustangs. Cowan over to Cardwell, far side. Now over to Mason Taylor. Taylor crossover dribble. Now to Cowan. Free throw line extended on the far side. Has the ball. Hesitation dribble utilizing the Taylor screen back over to Cardwell. Cardwell picks up his dribble. Now back to Cowan between the circles. Now over to the near side. Driving baseline. The Peyton Parker floater is up and good. 11 points for Peyton Parker, who's the first Balco player in double figures, and it's 37-24, 6.20 to go here in the third quarter. Trey White with it, giving it off now to Kelly. Kelly over now to Seamers. Seamers has the ball foul line. Now back top of the key over to the near side. White with it. Backing Cowan down, picks up his dribble, passes intercepted and stolen by Peyton Parker. One on three, Parker goes in, wrap around dribble, layup was off the glass, no. Back quickly now are the Mustangs. 5.50 to go here in the quarter, but Balco have accomplished goal number one. They won the first two minutes by two points. Now they've got to win the next two minutes by two points if you're the Bison. We do want to once again thank everybody for listening to this broadcast. The turnaround jumper in the paint misses everything. Rebound by Peyton Parker of Balco Bison basketball. Taylor into the front court, has the ball. Wesley Christian out of position. Ball is blocked from behind, and it was off the hands of Mason Taylor. So that'll be a turnover. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it with them. 529 to go here in the third quarter. Wesley and Christian 37, Balco 24. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment.
Welcome back to Enid, Oklahoma. Here at the Stride, Banks in our 37-24. Your score favorite, Wesley and Christian, over the Balco Bison. Inbound goes to Trey White. White will jog it slowly across the timeline. On the far side, directing traffic is White. Picked up loosely there by Cardwell. Calling for the screen by Cloud. Doesn't get it. Giving it off now to Seamers. Seamers with it. He does use the Cloud screen. Cloud, top of the key. Three-pointer off the back iron. No. Rebound goes to the corner. Offensive rebound. Wesley Christian to reset. 5.07 to go here in the third quarter. Spin move in the paint. Passing back now to Holly. Holly with it. Over to Seamers. Seamers has it on the right elbow. Pass deflected but picked up by Wesley Christian. Three-pointer off the back iron. No. Another offensive rebound. Three possessions on this drive now for Wesley Christian at a traveling violation, or double dribble violation rather. Coach Cook's not happy on that one. It will be a full court press now being employed by Wesley and Christian as Kane Cowan to inbound from the coffin corner. Inbound goes to Mason Taylor who just holds it, giving it back now to Cowan. Now Peyton Parker, two on one. Parker layup is no good and they're gonna call an offensive foul. So offensive foul on uh, Levi Milliken. That'll be his second personal foul. Second team foul of the quarter. And it's Wesleyan Christian basketball leading by 13 and the ball. Across the timeline now, White with it. Crossover dribble picked up there by Cardwell. Over to the far side, Jensen back to White. White drives baseline, the floater over Parker around the rim, no. <laughs> offensive rebound, ball's knocked away by Kane Cowan. Balco Faithful wanting a foul on that. You can't call a foul on someone just because they're tall. And I think that was the situation. What happened there was, was uh, Cloud was just so much taller, he was able to knock it away. Top of the key now, Kelly with it, driving in. Top of the key, three-pointer is good for Kale Seamers. He has 19, and it's 40-24, to 16-point lead now for Wesley and Christian. Over to the near side, Peyton Parker has it. He had a lane, opted not to take it, gives it back to Cowan. Now down to Cardwell, back to Cowan. Halfway through the second quarter. Give and go to Peyton Parker. Parker, cross-court pass to Cardwell, over to Taylor. Mason Taylor, NBA link three off the front iron, no. Rebound loose, picked up by Cardwell. Cardwell at the foul line, giving it off now to Parker. Parker to Cowan, hesitation dribble, drives in, spin move outside the elbow, and there's gonna be a foul, a three second violation rather. No. <laughs> Uh, there's a foul on the floor, loose ball foul on Kyle Kelly. That'll be his second personal foul. They signaled three-second violation and then called a foul. As inbound is intercepted by Seamers. Two on one, Wesley and Christian driving in. Shot is no good, but a cheap foul given there by Cowan. That'll be three on him. And so that's going to put Kale Seamers back at the line now to shoot two more. Seamers with 19 points already in this game. 3.40 to go. First free throw is around the rim and good. One more free throw forthcoming for Seamers. Takes one dribble, second free throw is up and good. So he converts both. He has 21 points. And it's Wesley and Christian's largest lead of the game now at 18 points, 42 to 24. It's palindrome time here at the Stride Bank Center. Pass is intercepted and a pushing foul on Nathan Cardwell well away from the ball. So it'll be Cardwell's second personal foul. Four team fouls already for Balco, so Wesley and Christian will be shooting free throws the rest of the quarter. Into the front court, White has it, giving it off to Seamers. Double team comes, pass over to the near side. Uncontested three off the front iron, no. Rebound goes to Cardwell in the corner. Milliken to Cowan. Cowan looking to force it up the court, and he's fouled on the sideline. Foul's going to be on, I actually didn't see who it was on. <laughs> it was on Wesley Christian. <laughs> Back over now to Cowan. Cowan between the circles, crossover dribble, has the ball circling back around, 3.03 to go here in the third quarter. 18 point lead for Wesley and Christian. Cowan loses control, ball's loose on the floor, picked back up. Cowan's still with it, double team comes over to Milliken, Milliken to Taylor. Taylor drives baseline. Finds uh, Parker in the lane, basket is up, no good, but he's fouled, so Peyton Parker will go to the line to shoot two. Foul's going to be on Cale Seamers, that'll be his second personal foul, second team foul, or third team foul of the quarter. So Peyton Parker at the line now to shoot two. 
First free throw is off the front of the rim and no good. So one more free throw forthcoming for the 6-1 senior from Balco. Second free throw is up. Around the rim, no, he misses on both. And then a pushing foul on Levi Milliken. That'll be Milliken's third personal foul. And that's five team fouls, so that will send Wesley and Christian to the free throw line to shoot two. And uh, the Mustangs will be shooting free throws for the rest of the quarter. So Ty Cloud will be at the line to shoot two for the Mustangs. Cloud with eight points so far, and this one takes two dribbles. First free throw is on the way, and good. So one more free throw forthcoming for Cloud. Takes two dribbles, second free throw is up. Off the back iron, no. Peyton Parker goes up, gets the rebound. It's Balco basketball in a world of trouble. They're down 19 points now with 2.40 to go here in the third quarter. Cowan pass over to Taylor. Taylor crossover dribble, driving in now. 13-foot jumper is good for Mason Taylor. That's four for Taylor. And it's 43-26, 2.24 to go here in the third quarter. Hesitation dribble, Trey White with it. Circling back around now to Jensen. Jensen all the way back out now, top of the key, drives in on, Car on Cowan, giving it off now to Cooper Holly. Holly pass now, top of the key. Seamers, NBA three pointer off the front iron. No, offensive rebound. Cloud with it at the right elbow. <laughs> and three second violation will be called on Wesley and Christian. Uh, Ty Cloud had it, and it was, it was like he was really. Hesitant, he, like he didn't really know what to do with it as he had it there on the elbow. And I think it kind of froze the offense there for the Mustangs. So Balco basketball down 17. Two minutes to play here in the quarter. Cowan reaching in. And the pass is off the hands of Mason Taylor and out of bounds. So will be Mustang basketball with a minute 53 to go here in the third quarter. Outlet to Jensen. Jensen has it in front of everyone now. Circling back around now to the free throw line. Extended on the left side. Top of the key three-pointer. Seamers off the front iron. No. Offensive rebound. Wesley Christian to reset. Three-pointer. Jensen off the front iron. No. Rebound. Levi Milliken. Ball loose on the floor. There was a timeout. They, uh, it was a timeout called by someone. Um, anyway, a minute 33 to go here in the third quarter. Wesley and Christian 43, Balco 26. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment. Welcome back to the Stride Bank Center here in Enid, Oklahoma. 43-26, your score favor, Wesley and Christian over Balco. Winner of today's game will take on the loser between Frontier and Leedy tomorrow at 7.30. The loser of this game will see their season come to an end this evening here in the Stride Bank Center. Mason Taylor looking to inbound, does so to the corner. Double team comes, long pass over to Parker on the near side. And these east-west passes aren't going to work for Balco right now. They've got to get it across the timeline. They've got to go now. Over to Callen. Cowan has it in front of the scores table on the far side, giving it off to Taylor. A minute 17 to go here in the quarter. Wesley and Christian 43, Balco 26. Taylor give and go to Peyton Parker. Shot is up off the glass and good. 13 points for Peyton Parker. 43-28. A minute five to go here in the, the third quarter. Seamers with it, top of the key. Feeds Cloud down in the post. Giving it back now to Jensen. Jensen drives in, dishes off to the far side. Three-pointer is good for Cooper Holly. He has six. And it's 46-28, 50 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Parker outlet is deflected and stolen. Coming the other way now, Wesley and Christian. 40 seconds to go here in the quarter. Jensen has it now between the circles, calling for a screen. Bounce pass goes to Cloud at the right elbow. Shot is up off the glass and good over Milliken. 11 points for Ty Cloud, the second Wesleyan Christian player in double figures, and the lead's now at 20, and the ball's off of Taylor's hands and intercepted. Cloud with it down on the block. And a foul's going to be called on Mason Taylor. That'll be Taylor's first personal foul. That'll put Cloud at the line to shoot two more for the Mustangs. 17.4 seconds left to go here in the quarter.
Malco started out the quarter strong, and then since then, Wesley and Christian have really seized control. First free throw is up and good. One more free throw for Cloud, who has 12 points so far in this one. Takes two dribbles, second free throw is up. In and out, no good. Ball out of bounds off of Wesley and Christian. It will be Balco basketball. 16 seconds to go here in the third quarter. 49-28 is the score. And if ever there was a time for Balco to kind of start raining threes, it's got to be right now. Because their season is on the line at this point. 10 seconds to go here in the quarter. Utilizing the Cardwell screen, driving in. Cowan has it, pass to Milliken. Milliken off the glass, good and a foul. Basket good for Levi Milliken. His first points of the game. Foul's going to be on Mason Jensen, his first personal foul. Milliken a chance to get three points the old-fashioned way. 4.1 seconds left to go here in the quarter. Milliken takes one dribble, free throws on the way. Off the glass, off the rim, no. Rebound by Seamers. Ball's knocked away, picked back up by Seamers. 45-footer at the buzzer is no good. And that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Wesley and Christian 49, Balco 30. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll have the third quarter recap and the start of the fourth quarter live from the Stride Bank Center here in Enid, Oklahoma. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment. Welcome back to the Stride Bank Center here in Ian at 49 to 30 is the score. Wesley Christian being paced by Kale Seamers with 21 points, 12 for Ty Cloud, six for Cooper Hawley, four apiece for Trey White and Kyle Kelly, and two for Xander Week. Balco being paced by Peyton Parker with 13, nine for Kane Cowan, four for Mason Taylor, and two apiece for Levi Milliken and Nathan Cardwell. It will be Balco basketball to start the fourth quarter as the inbound goes to Cowan well in the backcourt. Coach Whitfield. Hollering out instructions. Utilizing the Cardwell screen. Cowan on the far side as the ball drives baseline. Over now to Parker. Parker to Taylor. Taylor back to Cardwell. Cardwell, long three-pointer, misses everything. And that'll be a turnover and Wesleyan Christian basketball. 7.42 to go here in the ball game. 19-point lead for the Mustangs and the ball. Jared Jensen will check into the game and Seamers will have a seat for Wesleyan Christian. Looking to inbound Cooper Holly. Now full court press being employed by Balco. Mason Jensen with it in the backcourt. Double team comes looking to get rid of it. Bounce pass. Cardwell goes for the steal, doesn't get it. Now numbers three on one into the front court. Layup is off the glass and good for Jared Jensen. His first points of the game. And it's the largest lead of the game for Wesleyan Christian out 21, 51 to 30, 7.25 to go here in the ball game. Cardwell for three from the corner. Bang! Three point basket good. That's five for Nathan Cardwell, 51-33, 7-13 to go here in the ball game. Crossover dribble, Cloud has it. And tackle from behind, Mason Taylor with the foul. That will be two on him. First team foul, and it will be Wesleyan Christian basketball. Inbounding from the baseline. Looking to inbound is Cloud. Can't find anyone. Long outlet finally goes near the midcourt stripe to Mason Jensen. Jensen picked up by Cowan. Over to Cloud on the near side. Met out there, well out there by Mason Taylor, giving it off now to Kelly, Kyle Kelly. 14-foot jumper off the heel, no. Rebound deflected. And a, a pushing foul is going to be called on Levi Milliken. That'll be four fouls on Milliken. Two team fouls. 6.53 to go here in the quarter. So Wesley and Christian basketball. Inbounding from the baseline, Cloud has it looking to inbound. 
Inbound goes all the way to the scores table where it is saved, but not in time, and it will be Balco basketball. Callen to inbound in front of the scores table far side. 6.53 remaining here in regulation, er, not in regulation, but in the ball game. So barring a miracle, Balco is going to have a hard time coming back from this. Kane Callen shot his block, but he's going to go to the line to shoot two now. Foul's going to be on uh, Cooper Holly. That'll be his first personal foul. So, so Holly's first foul, first team foul. Cowan at the line to shoot two. First free throws off the front iron, no good. Frankie Gonzalez will check into the game for the first time as Levi Milliken will have a seat. So Balco definitely trading defense for offense here at this point. Cowan takes two dribbles, second free throws on the way, and good. So he converts one of two. He has 10 points. He's the second Bison player in double figures, and it's 51-34. 6.33 to go. Ball dribbled out of bounds off the foot of Cooper Holly. It'll be a Balco basketball. 6.43 remaining. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it with him. 6.43 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Wesley Christian 51, Balco 34. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment. Welcome back to the Stride Bank Center here in Enid, Oklahoma. 51 to 34, your score favor Wesley and Christian over Balco. It will be Balco basketball. Inbounding on the near sideline. Off the Wesley and Christian turnover, Mason Taylor to do the inbounding honors for the Bison. Officials are waiting for something, not sure what. Inbound goes to Kane Cowan. Cowan will go diagonally across the timeline toward the far side. Over to Cardwell. Cardwell to Taylor. Taylor thought about the pull-up jumper. Opted not to. Spin move. Has it at the left elbow. Over to Gonzalez for three. Around the rim. No. Rebound by Cloud. Coming back the other way now. Wesley and Christian. 6.25 to go here in the ball game. 17-point lead for the Mustangs and the ball. Into the front court. Mason Jensen with it. Picked up loosely by Gonzalez. Down on the block now. Uh, Jared Jensen. Ball's blocked out of bounds. So it will be Mustang basketball, 6-16 to go in the ball game. Reminder that the winner of today's game will take on the loser of tonight's game between Aledi and Frontier at 7.30 tomorrow here in the Stride Bank Center. And the loser of this game will see their season come to an end this evening. Down on the block, Jared Jensen with it. Fires a pass back to the free throw line extended. Open three-pointer from the wing is good for Cooper Hawley. He has nine. And it's a 20-point lead again for Wesley and Christian, 54-34. Two minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Through the double team and a blocking foul is going to be called on Wesley and Christian. Foul on Kyle Kelly, his third personal foul. Second team foul of the quarter. Cardwell to inbound for Balco from the baseline. Does so to Peyton Parker, shot is off the glass, no. Kyle gives it off into the front court. The shot is blocked from behind by Kane Cowan. So Cooper Holly had his shot blocked from behind by Kane Cowan. It'll be Wesley and Christian basketball inbounding from the baseline. 544 to go here in regulation. Looking to inbound is Ty Cloud. Does so to the free throw line extended far side. Now between the circles, Mason Jensen back over to the far side, driving baseline. Cardwell goes for the steal, doesn't get a pass over to the wing, far side, driving in now, splitting the double team, back top of the key, three-pointer for Jensen is good. Mason Jensen's first points of the game, and it's the largest lead of the game for Wesley and Christian now, 57 to 34. What we're seeing today is an absolute masterclass. Three-pointer Cowan off the side of the rim, no. 
into the front court now are the Mustangs. Wesley and Christian putting on an absolute master class on both sides of the ball. Jensen picking up his dribble in the paint, passing back out now to Kelly. Kelly's shot off the glass is good. That's six points for Kyle Kelly. And it's 59 to 34, three minutes gone here in the, in the fourth quarter. Mason Taylor launches a long three in and out, no. Rebound, Kyle Kelly. And Jensen will bring it into the front court now for Wesley and Christian. Crossover dribble, 4.45 to go here in the ball game. Into the paint, giving it off now to Holly. Holly three-pointer, misses everything. Offensive rebound, Cloud put back, reverse layup is good. For Cooper Holly, he has 11, he's the third. Wesley and Christian player in double figures and it's 61 to 34, a 27 point advantage for the Mustangs. Kane Cowan has it now top of the key over to Cardwell for three. Bang, three point basket good. Nathan Cardwell, he has eight. And it's 61 to 37, 417 to go here in the ball game. Outlet goes to Kyle Kelly. Kelly has the ball now in the front court. Cardwell goes for the steal, doesn't get it. Shot is up and good for Jared Jensen. He has four. 63-37 halfway through the fourth quarter. And at this point, if you're Balco, you just got to kind of enjoy the rest of the experience. Just remember this moment. That's the, uh, the free throw line jumper is no good. Rebound loose on the floor, still loose on the floor. Tie ball, possession arrow favors Wesley and Christian, and it will be Mustang basketball, 3.42 to go here in the ball game. Trey White will come back into the game for Wesley and Christian as Ty Cloud will have a seat. Mustangs to inbound in front of the Bison bench on the far side. So Wesley and Christian will, will improve to 24 and four on the season, and they will face the winner between us. The three-pointer is good for Kyle Kelly, nine for him. And they will face the winner between, or the loser rather, between Frontier and Leedy tomorrow at 7.30. Balka will see their season come to an end this evening with a record of 20 wins and six losses on the year. Long three-pointer for Cardwell's off the front iron. No, rebound loose, picked up by Wesley and Christian. Coming the other way now are the Mustangs. And you have to say, if you're Balco, this season has been nothing short of a success as the layup is good for Kyle Kelly. He has 11, he's the fourth Wesley and Christian player in double figures. 20 and six is a good mark by any measure. Ken Cowan, NBA three-pointer off the front iron, no. Rebound, Wesley and Christian. 2.50 to go here in the ball game. Ball's batted away from behind, picked up by Frankie Gonzalez. Gonzalez in the front court, over to Parker. Parker to Cardwell for three. Off the glass, no. Rebound, Mason Jensen. 2.37 to go here in the ball game. Colby Barnes looking to come back in, or come in for Balco as he takes the seat next to Coach Whitfield. Three-pointer is good. Step back three for Kyle Kelly. He has 14. And it's 71 to 37. In a game that is not as much of a blowout as this score would indicate. The Wesley and Christian have outplayed Balco to be sure, but not to this extent. Foul's going to be on uh, Mason Jensen. That'll be Jensen's second personal foul. Timothy Wisdom will check into the game for Wesley and Christian as Mason Jensen will have a seat. 2.18 to go here in the ball game. Inbound goes to Parker. Now to Cowan. Cowan to Taylor between the circles. No look pass to Parker. Over to, to, Car to Cardwell. Cardwell to Frankie Gonzalez. Gonzalez turn around three pointer. Off the front iron. No rebound by Kyle Kelly. Wesley and Christian wants to run. Long outlet layup is up off the glass and good for Cooper Holly. That's 13 for Holly. 73 37 the score. Palindrome time here at the Stride Bank Center. Gonzalez with it, shot is no good, and a foul. So Frankie Gonzalez will go to the line to shoot two for Balco. Foul is going to be on Jared Jensen, his first personal foul. Second team foul. So Gonzalez's first free throw is on the way. Off the back iron and no good. One more free throw forthcoming for the six-foot sophomore from Balco. As Colby Barnes and Gentry Parker will have a seat, and Nathan Cardwell and Gentry Par or, and Peyton Parker will have a seat. The seniors for Balco getting a well-deserved hand from the Balco faithful. Trey White will have a seat for Wesley and Christian, and Owen Hale will check into the game. One more free throw now forthcoming for Gonzalez. Second free throw is up. Around the rim, no good. 
Bumper cars underneath the basket, picked up by Wesley Christian into the front court. Layup is off the glass, no. Rebound deflected out to the corner, three is good for O and A. Zane Flowers and Zeb Flowers will check into the game now for Balco, and it's 76 to 37, a 39 point advantage for Wesley and Christian. A minute 36 to go in the ball game. So Mason Taylor will have a seat and Kane Callen will have a seat. So Gonzalez will bring it across the timeline toward the near side. Over now, Barnes thought about the jumper, decided not to. Cross court pass to, Gonzalez, to uh, Parker. Over now to Flowers. Flowers through the double team and he's fouled on the floor. Foul's going to be on uh, Timothy Wisdom, his first personal foul. Third team foul, of the, correction, just the second team foul of the quarter. Oh, they're saying it was on the shot. Okay, because they initially said it was on the floor. So at the line will be Zeb Flowers to shoot two. Flowers, a 5'9 freshman from Balco. So first free throw for Flowers is up and good. So Zeb Flowers with his first point of the game. A minute 20 to go here in the ballgame, 76 to 38, as Balco are being doubled up at the moment by Wesley and Christian. Second free throw for Flowers is on the way off the front iron. No, rebound by Hank Seamers, who's in the game now for Wesley and Christian. A minute 15 to go here in the ballgame, so we do want to take a moment to wish Wesley and Christian the best of luck in the remainder of their season, whatever that season looks like. And for Balco, you just kind of have to stand up and applaud as, as you know, Again, 20 and six is a good year by any by any stretch. The second round of the area playoffs is a good run, and this is a particularly tough area as well. Into the front court, Gonzalez has it now top of the key. Over to Gentry Parker. Parker circling around, has the ball. Feeds uh, Flowers on the near side to Gonzalez for three. In and out, no good. Rebound loose, picked up by Hank Seamers. Coming the other way now, Wesley Christian under a minute to play in the ball game. Into the front court, Owen Hay has a free throw line extended, circling back around now, picked up by Colby Barnes. Spin move, ball's knocked away and stolen. Fast break opportunity for Balco. Gonzalez left hand layup is off the glass and good. Frankie Gonzalez first points of the game and it is 76 to 40 with a half minute to go in the ball game. Into the front court now, Xander Week has it. Loses control, picks it back up. Looking to get rid of it, does so to Timothy Wisdom. Wisdom with it between the circles, utilizing the screen over to the near side, three-pointer off, off line a little bit, out of bounds off of the Mustangs. It will be Balco basketball, 11.4 seconds to go here in the ball game. Colby Barnes to inbound, does so to Frankie Gonzalez on the far side. Gonzalez has that hesitation dribble, spinning back around, four seconds through a double team, loses control, picked up by Barnes, one second, and that's gonna be it. Wesley and Christian advances to the area console, or the area elimination championship uh, tomorrow at 7:30, as they will take on the loser between Frontier and Leedy. Your final score: Wesley and Christian 76, Balco 40. So it has been a uh, it's been a good season for Balco, both the both the men's and the women's teams. But uh, so that's going to be the last game of the year for Balco. And so we will, um, we're, we'll see what they look like next year. They're gonna lose Peyton Parker, they're gonna lose um, Nathan Cardwell, but there's a lot of young talent on this team up and coming as well. Again, we do wanna wish Wesley and Christian the best of luck for the remainder of their season as well. And until next season, this is David Vaughn reminding you that no amount of success can compensate for failure in the home. Make sure that you let your family know each and every day just how much you love them. Until next time, take care.